Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you how you can make uh, KDE look like Pantheon, like this. So, yeah, let's get right into it. Alright, so to make Plasma look like Pantheon, uh, the first things we are going to want to do is install Latte Dock. So as you can see, if I go into my applications, I've already done this. And we're also going to install a few widgets. So head over to Get New Widgets, download New Plasma Widgets, and then you're going to want to search for a Simple Menu. So as you can see, it's right here. You're also going to want to search for... Uh, um, present windows So as you can see we got present window button. We're gonna want that and you're also going to search for inline clock So right here uh, You can also do an inline battery too if you have a laptop Install that too now uh, Once we've installed those widgets We're going to right click our existing panel go to panel options add new panel and we're gonna go to empty panel now we are going on our new empty panel, we're going to go to configure and we're going to set the height to 30. Now we're going to click on add widgets and we are going to want to add our simple menu, our inline clock that we installed, see if I can find it, here we go. And we are going to want to add a system tray. There we go. Now we're going to right click the panel and click configure again and we're going to add in two spacers. So one, two. And we're going to put one between the, uh, the clock and the task switcher. And we're going to put the other one between the clock and the simple menu button. And we're going to resize it so that the clock is in about the middle. So. There we go. Now we can close this. And now we're going to right click in run clock, click configure. And we're going to set show date. And we're going to use 12 hour time. But we're going to set show date. And then we're going to put the date format to mix date. And hit OK. And then hit apply. And if you want to, you can do stuff like make it bold or make it italic. I'm going to do bold but not italic. You can, you can also change the font too. So, uh, I recommend Open Sans. Uh, this one doesn't have it. Whatever. Alright, so now that we've done that, we can remove our existing panel now. So go Right-click the panel, go to Panel Options, Configure Panel, and hit, uh, hit Go to um, Remove Panel. There we go. So, uh, now we are going to want to head over to our settings, and we're just going to configure a couple things. Now we're going to go to desktop behavior, make sure it's set to double click to open files and folders. And then we are going to go back into startup and shutdown and make go to desktop session and make sure it says start with an empty session. Now we are going to go back to desktop behavior, go to virtual desktops and we're going to want to set number of desktops to 2 and number of rows to one. You can do more than that, I just think it looks the best with two. So, yeah, and then you can change the animation if you want, but I'm gonna keep it the same. Wait, I'm gonna do fade, ah, that's all right. Now, once we've done that, we're gonna wanna open up Latte Dock, and we're also gonna wanna go to System Settings and Start Up, and we're gonna make sure Latte Dock is there. If it isn't, add it. So now we have Latte Dock, now this is what it looks like by default. You're going to want to right click um, the dock and go to dock slash panel settings. And from here, if we can remove the analog clock. It wants to remove. There we go. And then we can go to appearance and we're going to set the size to about 56. So make it a little bit smaller. And then for the background, 
um, you can keep it the same, although if you want, you could switch it to, to 20 or 25, although 10 looks pretty nice. Now we're going to change the active indicator to uh, dot, and then we're going to um, make sure that in behavior, it's set to center for the alignment and bottom for the location, and dodge active for visibility, although you can also do dodge minimize. Or dogs max dodge maximized sorry so and also you can customize the dock to your likings in advanced although this is now that this is the elementary dock and for some reason there's an extra panel up here i don't know why we can just remove it here that happens so boom it's gone now so now we are going to want to right click the desktop and click add widgets again and we're going to look for the presence present windows widget, present window button widget, and we're just gonna add it to the dock. So in elementary, there is a button that basically opens up all the windows on all your desktops and lets you switch desktops. Now this is the final step, you're just gonna pin all of the applications you want pinned, so I'm actually gonna unpin Firefox and I'm gonna pin Chromium. So to do that, you're just going to want to open up your application using the simple menu, pin it and then move it to whatever location you want it to be in. So I'm just gonna do that really quickly. Alright, so I pinned all of the applications I use a lot, although I just installed this last night, this distro, and I really haven't installed every application I need, so in future videos you're probably going to see more apps on this dock, but yeah. Anyway, so uh, now that we've done that, we are done. All we have to do now is just go to panel options and lock the widgets. So uh, thank you for watching this video on how to make elementary OS or KDE look like elementary OS or I guess Pantheon not look just the layout so yeah thank you for watching this video and I will see you in the next one